Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Another legend of Formula One has passed away, with former Brabham's Ferrari and Williams driver Carlos Reutemann passing away on the 7th of July. Not only was he a talented racing driver, but he also made a name for himself as a popular politician in Argentina. So let's take a look at his career and pay our respects to Carlos Reutemann. Welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Carlos Reutemann made a name for himself in Argentina, racing in touring cars and winning the Argentine Formula 2 Championship in 1969. Seeking better competition, Reutemann moved to the European Formula 2 Championship, and after making an initial impression on Jochen Rint by ploughing into him, Reutemann would have a successful 1971 season, finishing second in the championship behind Ronnie Peterson. He moved to Formula 1, signing for the Brabham team for 1972, and snagged pole position on his debut at his home race in Argentina. He finished 7th after having issues with his tyres, but it was still quite a debut. However, a 4th place in Canada would be his only points, and a non-championship win at Interlagos, the only high points. 1973 was a small improvement for Brabham and Reutemann, as he scored regular points and a couple of podiums, finishing 7th overall in the championship. More improvements came in 1974 with the BT44 and Carlos Reutemann would take his first Formula 1 wins in South Africa, Austria and Watkins Glen in America, but unreliability would mean he'd only progress to 6th in the championship. Another jump forward in 1975 meant a lot more podium finishes for Reutemann and another win at the 14 mile Nürburgring and 3rd place in the championship, only losing out to Nicky Lauda and Emerson Fittipaldi. But Brabham had been making serious progress year on year and now the Martini-sponsored BT45 had Alfa Romeo power and is one of the best looking Formula 1 cars ever, surely this could be Reutemann's year. It wasn't, the Alfa engine was terribly unreliable and Reutemann negotiated his release from Brabham to fill in for Niki Lauda at Ferrari after his accident at the Nürburgring. But as Lauda was ready to come back ridiculously early, Reutemann only had one race at Monza and sat out the last three races of the year. He became a full-time Ferrari driver in 1977, even giving Nicky Lauda a run for his money when winning in Brazil, but Lauda took the championship and Reutemann only finished fourth. But with Lauda moving to Brabham for 1978, this left Carlos Reutemann as team leader alongside the very young Gilles Villeneuve. Reutemann would take four wins, but was once again third in the championship behind the dominant Lotus team. But with Ronnie Peterson killed at Monza, Lotus had a seat available for 1979 and Carlos Reutemann would make probably the biggest mistake of his racing career by switching to Lotus from Ferrari for 1979. Whilst his replacement Jody Schechter took a resurgent Ferrari to the Drivers' and Constructors' Championships with Gilles Villeneuve second in the championship, Carlos Reutemann would put in strong performances and take four podiums and finish the year seventh place in the championship. Reutemann moved to Williams for 1980 and once again was in a strong car, winning in Monaco and taking eight podiums to help Williams to a first Constructors' Championship, as teammate Alan Jones took the driver's title with Reutemann in third. Jones and Reutemann would fall out after Reutemann refused to let Alan Jones through in Brazil in 1981, taking the win for himself. Alan Jones vowed to never help Reutemann in the future. Whilst Reutemann took his final Formula 1 win in Belgium, and was a championship contender going into the final round at Las Vegas in the lead with a single point over Nelson Piquet, but Reutemann had a rough race, dropping behind Jones at the start, issues with his gearbox, and he slowly dropped out of the points through the race, leading to Nelson Piquet winning the championship. Carlos Reutemann returned with Williams in 1982 and finished second in South Africa for the season opener, but the start of the Falklands War was rumoured to have affected Reutemann, especially as he was racing for a British team and he left after the second race in Brazil, although many, including Patrick Head, have said Reutemann's heart just wasn't in it anymore. His Formula 1 career would see 12 wins, 45 podiums, 6 fastest laps, 6 pole positions, all in 146 races, and a very successful driver with four top three finishes in the championship with three different teams. Carlos Reutemann is a name that is often missing from those best drivers to never win the championship lists, but he should be an ever-present. He also took two podiums in the World Rally Championship, driving a Fiat in 1980 and a Peugeot 205 in 1985. 
He raced at Le Mans for Ferrari, won two non-championship Formula 1 rounds, one of which was the South African Grand Prix of 1981, which was raced as a Formula Aurora race after Renault, Ferrari, Alfa Romeo and Ligier withdrew. If the race had counted towards the championship as normal, Reutemann would be champion. He was also a popular politician in Argentina, serving as part of the Senate at the time of his death, and had been a popular governor for Santa Fe on a couple of different occasions. He was a good man, a great driver, and will be sorely missed. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.